So here's an update on our lockdown situation. Um, I did have on day 18 a chick that started to pip out <clears throat> and um, when I didn't realize I was trying to get ready for lockdown and there was already one pipping out so um, I left it alone had a little bit of blood loss but I was just waiting like that. Uh, I've read about for them to pip out on their own give them 24 to 48 hours. Um, that chick did not make it and so and and then I woke up this morning and two of my chicks had hatched out but one had its neck um, the grating doesn't go all the way to the wall of the um, incubator and there was one with his head caught and I knew it was going to die if I didn't do something. So I was forced to open this thing up and I was able with great difficulty to dislodge the baby's head and I've put one of the egg turners there um, to block anyone else because they tend to seek refuge. They tend to go to the sides and they want to snuggle. And this one, I knew the other one's going to try and go to the side until they found that wall, and then they would sit there and, and just kind of snuggle up to the wall. And so I knew I needed to block that. But in the process, that caused this cascade of intervention that I felt was necessary so that I didn't lose these others from opening up during the lockdown. But I couldn't let that one die. So what I have done to try and manage... Um, the shrinking of the membrane that happens during lockdown was I made, as you can see, a slight hole in the egg. Some of them a little bigger than others. See, this one's not so big. It's hard to see that one. But, um, and then pulled back that membrane and just let them finish working out, even though the membrane might be I mean, some of them absolutely were shrink-wrapped and they would, probably would not have made it had I not um, helped them a little. Because we know that um, the egg yolk is still being absorbed as they're sitting there, kind of slowly working their way out. They're absorbing that egg yolk and the blood circulation within the membranes of the egg. Uh, they're also absorbing that. And if you disrupt that process, they're not getting that yolk, which is their energy. They're not getting that blood, so they come out uh, anemic and weak, and then they could die. So my goal is to make sure that membrane's not an issue, but to let them finish the process on their own. So this is where we're at. I got about 13 of them that are out or in the process of working their way out and hoping that we'll see them today or tomorrow. So that's what's going on and we'll continue to update as things go along.